Good morning, everybody. Yesterday I was over in this area and I went up to a house. My wife was sitting in the truck. I said, hey, can I cut through your land and go fishing? He goes, yeah, if you want to, go ahead. We can go right now. I'll give you a ride down there. And I said, no, 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 that's not gonna do it today. I was thinking about tomorrow. So, you know, and here I am. Now I'm down at the creek, which is awesome because we're kind of like, I don't know, I'd say a quarter mile from the road or maybe a little more. So this is nice and far back in here that has limited access. So I'm gonna go up through here and see if I can not catch one of these limited access fish, I guess. All right, we decided to go with the silver and red. Go try a different color, maybe. Maybe that color change will really help out. Plus it's not as, oh, there we go, guys. What I tell you? All I had to do is, oh, another fish is trying to fight and try to take it away from him. That's hilarious. All right, dudes, we caught our first fish in like a week, two weeks. Look at this, dudes. It's a teeny one. This guy, man, he's so massive. I don't even think I can get him out of the net or, man, he is just a giant timber crushing brown trout. Let's see, hold on, dude, I got you free. All right, look at the size of that tank, man. That is like the, that's a massive fish. All right, dude. Oh. Where'd he go? He's there somewhere. Man, that was like, what a massive fish. Ooh, I caught around a tree branch. Something came out, was chasing him. He had it in his mouth and there was a trout chasing after him. That was bigger than him. I don't know if he, what he was thinking, if he was gonna eat the little trout. It would've been kind of cool to get that on video. We weren't close enough to where they're at. They're kind of sitting right over by that tree and that really heavy debris of grassiness over there and stuff. It's really hard to access it without losing my lure. And I, I mean, I guess I could walk over and free it if, it came, if that was all fails, but let's try to remember that way once. Oh, Pigeon, Pigeon. This guy's a little bit more decent than that last one. This looks like a brook trout too. All right, check it out. Nope, this is a brown trout. That's a brown trout. All right. Woohoo! I don't even care that he's not a massive giant one. I just care that I'm catching fish. This is freaking awesome. This guy spun so much up around it too. All right, at least these circle hooks. These red hooks are kind of like a circle hook, so they pop free, that's why I'm using one. They pop free super easy. You can get them out usually with your fingers pretty smooth. And I have to with today because I don't have my hemos. And don't bite me. Oh, you're biting me. All right, this dude ain't no giant, but hey, check it out. It's another fish. Can't beat more fish. More fish is good. All right, dude, see you later. There he goes. He's swimming right back to where he came from, kind of. <laughs> kind of. He's kind of right out here in the, right out here in front of me. I gotta get it like way up over there. There you go. And pull down. Oh, there you go. I told you. You gotta get into where the fish are, boys. Gotta get in where the fish are, even though they're teeny ones. All right, I just get my hands wet. Maybe I can just free this guy really fast and not have to really touch him all that much. All right. What do we got here? We have a brick trout. All right, dudes. These hooks are pretty cool, I tell you. They're like a circle hook. Trouble. Check it out, man. A little teeny brick trout, boy. He's all, yeah, he's going home. See you later, dude. See you later, tater chip. There he goes. Into the bushes right over there. That's interesting. Right up next to the log, anything comes out. Nothing. Oh, someone's chasing it. Oh, I got one. Got one. Got one. This one looks kind of decent compared to the other ones. So I'll take them and be happy. All right, dudes. What do we got here? We got a brown trout. Come on, dude. Get in the net. All right, dudes. We're over here at the bank because I'm sinking up past my ankles and knees and in the mud. And we'll just kneel down here quick. Keep them in the water as much as possible. Yep. I mean, I could probably keep you, but I'll let you go. All right, guys, check it out. Look at the size of that guy. Nice brownie. All right, say hello. Hi, oh, dudes. He's talking to the public. All right, we're getting back in the water. Later, tater. Here he goes, right back to where he came from. If I can get close enough, like right there. Ooh, perfect dudes. We might actually have a fish. Oh, I told you, got another one. This is a decent one too. All right, he's fighting hard. All right, guys, this is actually a decent fish. This is a nice one. All right, dudes, check him out. All right, got him in the net. I'm gonna take him over to the shore here. Get him free quick. See where he's got that hook? He's got it in his gill. Coming home with me. If not, we'll get you free in about two seconds, but he's kind of got it in there. I'm hoping I can pop it out, but. 
Dang it. I need to get my fingers into the, the grab on this way so I can get it out. All right, dude. Thank you piece of patience there. Hey guys, that's about the nicest one today so far. Check it out. He's doing pretty good, looking good. All right, say hello. All right, let's get a measurement quick and we'll toss him back in. He's looking like, we're looking at, he's about 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inch brown trout, we're gonna give him free. He's got a little grass on his head. All right, dude, catch you later. Fish on, fish on. Woo -hoo, look at that guy, he's coming from all the way across the stream. He's whipping, he's trying to get free. I wish he would, cause he's a little, but hey, he's a fish and a fish is a, Better than no fish, better than catching an old stick. All right, guys, there we go. Look at that monster. He's massive. I'll keep him in the water for two seconds here. Maybe he'll kick it free. Look at that, man. Half inch, or half ounce brown trout on a half ounce lure. All right, dude, there we go. Look at that tank, he's massive. He's the biggest fish of the day. They put him on there, he's, we see, we got a five. He's, whoa, he's like six inches long. Woo he, he's gone. I think he tried to get inside my sleeve. All right, the one run I'm interested in is right there. It's a hard run to hit too, because there's a lot of debris. I could try it around the backside once. Whoa, there you go. Told you, something was gonna happen there. Hoo -hoo. Fish on, fish on. What we got now? A little brownie? I figured as much. All right, let's get them free. Well, you got in one little teeny hook. Aren't you lucky? That'd be fast and easy. There we go. Check it out, man. Little feisty brown trout. And he's got that, yeah, he's a, he must be. Look at that feisty little brown trout. Let's get him back in the water. He goes, he's swimming out. Oh, look, he goes, boom, oh, downstream into the mouth of a giant brown trout. Oh, he's going straight down through you. Where the heck he's going? He went nowhere near where he came from. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm using today. This is number five blade. It's a three eighths ounce lure body. I painted it black. Or I painted it red with black dots. It's kind of cool. It's got a red hook on it. It's kind of all getting beat the heck from all this fishing here today. But otherwise, from that, pretty cool and it's working pretty good. And I got a little disco ball on the end, so. Fish on, whoa, he chased it right to me. Look at him, oh, he jumped out of the water like three or four times, did you see that? There he is too, he's huge. Well, that was cool. Well, that was really cool. He jumped out of the water with my lure. That was all right. Well, that was sure good. All right, let's get back to work and get back in that creek and catch some more fish. That was awesome. Now I'm gonna be super hyper and probably have to pee a lot. Ooh, I can kind of feel it already. It's hard to pay attention. I'm looking at all these rocks. Just kind of mes mesmerized. All right, see what can make happen here. If anything. Oh, fish on, guys. Fish on. All right, check this guy out. Wow, check him out, dudes. Here's my fish of the day, maybe. But, all right. He's not massive or anything huge, but check him out, guys. Make my hands wet here. Crap and grab him. Check it out, dudes. He went after my chartreuse. He liked it, check it out. And he's like easy on hook. I can get him back in the water really quick. This is awesome. All right, dude. There we go, we got him free. Here's the release. See you later. He's out of here. Try this. Throw it on, boys. I knew it, there'd be something there, but I thought it'd be a little bigger than this guy. But I'll still take this guy. He's still nice. Check him out, man. He wanted that spinner, that chartreuse. All right, dudes, there he is. Let's get him. My hands are all wet. All right, see what we got going on here. He barely hooked. He'll pop you free in two seconds. Check it out, boys. Another brownie. All right. This has been a good day. These are beautiful colors on this dude. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Swimming back off with the fishes. Sweet.
Fish on, fish on, boy, you chased it right to me. That's a decent sized brownie. All right. He's barely hooked in there too, so he can really kick it free if he wanted to. But he ain't doing a very good job of it, so I'm gonna have to do it for him. All right, boys and girls, check it out. Is this turned on? It sure is. Looks like you got some splatter on you, so I have to clean it two seconds. There we go. Check it out, guys. Look at this brown trout. All right, all right, all right. What's the, what's the measurement on him? He is, he's about, four, uh, he's about 13 and a half, almost 14 inches. Check him out, man, that's a nice fish. All right, whoo -hoo. a good way to end the day. Kind of nice spawn fish in here. There it goes, went right back over to the hole. Well, that was fun. Check it out, the outro spot. You know what that means, I caught some fish. Last week was horrible. I didn't catch anything. I went out every single day, nothing. I went to you know, a lot of local streams. I went to that spot where I caught that giant trout, nothing, not a dang bite. I went up to this first spot I got in there and I caught this trout where it kind of, at this very first spot. And it had to be maybe about 17 inches long. And I thought, all right, I got it. And I was pulling it back over and put me through the hook. After that, I didn't catch anything. I just kept walking, 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 nothing. I got a few bites, but nothing, nothing. I didn't even have a video. So I left there and I went to, and I see the next day, I went to a different spot after that on another local creek. Like, you know, because I was lazy and didn't feel like driving all the way out to the good spots. Caught nothing. I decided to go to the St. Croix River, get my kayak out, go paddle around the rocks, just go see if I could get me some smallmouth. Nothing. <sighs> I go out the next day, take the kayak out again. I go to this little lake in Wisconsin called Perch Lake. It's supposed to have all these great trout in it. Guess what happens? I get there at 4.50 in the morning at daybreak and there's a swim team there and they're swimming laps around this lake. It's not a giant lake, but they're out there doing this. Guy's on a paddle boards and all these people are swimming behind him. I'm thinking, oh my God, I just came all the way over here thinking I was gonna have this great day of catching trout and here's people swimming, like 15 deep almost like along the side of each other with these like, I don't know, these flotation things like a balloon and they're kind of having it behind them and they're just swimming. They're following the guy on the paddleboard going all the way around the lake and I'm thinking, oh man. So I put my kayak in and I kind of went out there and all I caught was a sunfish that was like that big. Nothing else. Just a total kibosh waste of a day. Oh, I tell you, uh, it's just been stressful. But today, hey, I caught a heck of a lot of fish. Kind of hurt my back a little bit. But, you know, hey, that's part of the plan. That, well, part of the plan. That's part of what happens when you're out here. No plan. Anyways, um, thanks for coming along with. I apologize about next last week. I just, like I said, I caught nothing. I tried. I could have put a compilation video of all my failures together last week. Like up here, when I walked up here, and this creek that's behind you, I decided I had to give it a shot. I walked out, I caught nothing all the way up. And then I got up by the bridge up there. I'll put a clip in real quick. Maybe I got it. I, I don't know. I think I still got it. I put a clip in, I, I was walking way up there and I was kind of standing underneath this little bridge and there's this big giant pool there and I'm fishing into the pool and I, and I start hearing this clump, 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 clump behind me and I turn around looking to the, the bridge and there's like probably two dozen cows come running right at me. I think, oh geez, what the heck? So I kind of ran over and jumped over the, the, the fence and kind of got out of there and then all these cows came marching out and I turned my camera back on and as I kind of videoing them as they were coming up there and like yelling at me and stuff. And Check it out, I was fishing down there in the hole and these cows, they just ran through the tunnel at me. And they're like, they see them, they seen me and they just came right at me and here they are, they followed right up here to this spot. They're all kind of hovering here and they're wondering what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, I know, I'm just over here fishing. Is that okay with you? Hey, this has been nuts, but I haven't been catching any fish. So, but now today I caught fish, all right, so celebration celebration i caught some fish anyways uh there's gonna be a head over here so we play this over here go check out the tips tricks and techniques places i fish in the driftless places that i go things that i do things that i see fish that i catch anyways thank you for coming along on my adventure again head playlist and i will see you next time around thank you so much for visiting